So, Brad Bandwidth from Maywood Glen, do you pick door number one, door number two, or door number three? Ooh, I don't know. I like the number one, but two could be twice as promising, and then there's door three. Door number three it is. It's a voice recognition lock. An authorized voice is the only way that door opens. Perfect job for Addison. She matches voices flawlessly. Aw, love you too, bestie. Hi, Cam. It's your dad. Call me back. Mimic my dad's voice and say, Charles Coyle, access code, Echo Mike Charlie 2. Charles Coyle, access code, Echo Mike Charlie 2. I can't see a thing. Who said that? Me. Who said that? Me. Phones, girls. At least there's only one door this time. Hold it. Uh, Adri, got any baking soda in there? Always. How are we supposed to get through that? Compact mirror. What? I'm the only one? Gum. Hey, that gum still had flavor. If it's exactly 3.5 centimeters away, with an angle of approximately 45 degrees, the velocity should be... Okay, here it goes. games. Now do your thing. Cam. Dr. Crawford? Please hurry, Howell. I only jammed the camera feed to this office for one minute so you can look through Dr. Crawford's files. Relax, Addison. <laughs> you know, I'd pace if I had legs. Michaela, can I help you? Uh, no, ma'am. I was just dropping off these files you asked for. Thank you. Um, I, uh, actually have some others for Professor Cato, but I haven't seen him. Neither have I. I'm starting to get concerned. W would you like me to try to reach him? No, no, I'm, I'm sure he'll turn up. Oh, Michaela. You're doing a very nice job here. Thank you, Dr. Crawford. Keep it up. Start a search of Professor Cato's last known addresses. I will. Right after my bit rate returns to normal. That was close. There you are. Two of Cafe Adam's sweet polyphenol teas to go. Enjoy! Very good, Rai. I'm just so excited. Thank you so much again for hiring me this summer. It's my pleasure, Cariño. We're going to have so much fun. Totally. And with the extra money, I'm finally in that meditation class I've been wanting to take. Did you know that through MRI, scientists have found that meditation leads to enhanced creativity, better focus, lower anxiety, and a lasting sense of calm? I can't think of anyone who could use a little meditation more than you.
Wow, this place is awesome. Adri, Bri, this is Tessa, and her mother, Miss Wallace. Bienvenidos al Café Atoms. Hi, Mr. Coyle. Hello, Bryden. Adrian? In honor of your first day at Destination Mars Camp, I'm going to make you all Cafe Adam's special cotton candy milkshake with liquid nitrogen ice cream. Sounds great. Warning, major brain freeze. <laughs> Has anyone been able to reach Michaela today? She's not answering her phone. No, I'm beginning to worry about her. She did take last night's fiasco pretty hard. Doesn't she also have her driver's license test coming up? Whew, talk about being stressed. Some meditative controlled breathing exercises will work for her about now. Breathe in through the nose, and out through the nose. In through the nose. <coughs> it's harder than it looks. You have a visitor, sir. A visitor? Who? Could I have a visual, please? It's no regrets. What is he doing here? He must work for Stone. Cam, you read me? Go for Cam. No regrets is in the elevator on his way up from the basement. Implement stalling tactics. Roger that. Hold the door, young man. I don't move as fast as I used to. Oh, dear me. Thanks, Sonny. Oopsie daisy. We don't have much time. Miles, I really need a record of that transfer pronto. Oh, someone's going to the penthouse. Fancy. Miles, hurry. Hmm, now what floor was it? Ah, the fifth. Wait, no. Was it the seventh? Yeah. It was the seventh floor. Or was it the ninth? Guess I'll know when I see it. Would you like the records printed or viewed as a PDF? PDF, please. But hurry, Miles. Getting too risky. We'll have to come back. No, I'm not leaving without proof Dad is innocent. Huh, here you go, sir. It was buried deep. Okay. Wait! Miles, please erase the database from the time I returned home until I leave today. Keep no record of this visit. What visit, sir? <laughs> Sure, Cato was our man. How did I totally misread the clues? Um, we all misread the same clues. Yeah, when it came to Professor Cato, we were barking up the wrong tree. Do dogs even solve crimes? Because they should, that would be so adorable. Guys, I really appreciate you having my back, but this is my case. I blew it, and now I have to fix it. And I think it's time we pay Dr. Crawford another visit. She's the only other person that had unrestricted access to the prototype. Well, besides my dad. Can you imagine him a master criminal? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> never. <laughs> Dr. Crawford it is. Hey, I sure would like to talk. I'll text him back later. 
I need to get to spacing to analyze Dr. Crawford's digitalized phone logs before she gets to work. Hold up, Em. You really do need to see this. Kyle made you a video! Hi, Michaela. Hi, Kyle. I'm hoping that right now you're saying, hi, Kyle, back. She did. He knows her so well. Anyway, I'm sending you this video because I got you something. It's a little congratulations present. Since you got the internship at Space Inc., I got you your own star. Aww. See this? See this tiny dot? That is your star. And its coordinates are in the constellation Ursa Major, your favorite, right? Aww. There's more. Uh, I will give it to you next time I see you. Bye. Bye, Kyle. That was pretty romantico, right? Kyle's amazing. And getting my very own exploding ball of hydrogen and helium is kind of like my dream gift. But right now I need to focus on this case and nothing else. So, who wants to tell Kyle how it went? Not! Nikoi ne moje, ta znaj zašto ste tu. Tva robota. Kak može da? Sve zupe znaj. Nikoi ne moje, ta znaj zašto ste tu. Tva robota.